Okay, so in this video we're going to run through some of the key steps to performing a calf raise to fatigue test at, at home. So first couple of things with this, with the, the hands up against the wall, we just want the fingertips. So we don't want them with the whole hands because what will happen is they'll try and pull themselves up the wall with their hands there. So fingertips. Second one is, is making sure they get the full height of the calf raise. So, so for this what we'll tend to use, I'll tend to just use a, a ruler, but you can use anything, anything at home. And what you, what you do is you have them on both feet raising as high as you can, so as high as you can there. And then we set the ruler at the maximal height, okay? And then going down for us there, so that then going on to one leg for us, so that each, each rep has to go as all the way up down, and good for me there, and all the way up there. Now in terms of the speed, we want to go up one second, down one second. So some people will go try and go too fast, so we want to make sure that they, they maintain that, and you can use a metronome as well to keep time of that. Some of the faults that we'll see with this is that you'll see when they're pushing off, they instead of pushing off through the big toe, so if we push off through the big toe there, that's how we want to do it, sometimes we'll see them push through the outside of the foot, so rolling out through there. The other fault that we'll see is sometimes with this leg, they will bend that leg and try and bend and straighten, so they'll almost try and push themselves up with the, with the leg there. And the other one that we'll see too is also the, the, they'll hike the opposite hip, so hiking up there like that to try and get that height. So there's some of the, the, the cheats that people will do. So making sure that we use the fingertips, we get maximal height, and making sure that they are pushing off through that, uh, through that toe and keeping the other leg straight. Once you've performed the test correctly, how many is normal? A recent study by Herbert Lozier et al. in 2017 found the following normals for males and females according to age. Remember that you should also ensure there is no greater than 10% difference between left and right legs.